Good evening. The cleanup continues in the rural municipality of Wilton after nearly 100 people were stuck in their homes this weekend. Now it's been a flurry of activity as officials deal with this recent snowstorm. This was the scene Saturday. Just a look into some of the conditions the RM is facing right now with snow banks up to 15 feet. Crews are busy. The recent uh, windstorm that we had over the last couple of days has left us a little bit crippled. But our crews are out diligently working probably uh, 14 hours a day. We've rented some equipment as well. And you can see by what's behind me what we're uh, up against. Officials say crews will be working for the next five to seven days, cleaning any leftover snow. They hope to have most of it clear before melting begins. The negative sides of uh, water is that you're going to be seeing some, probably some extreme flooding, possibly endangering some buildings and houses as well. But um, we've been planning for two months to uh, minimize it, but of course you don't know until you, you're into the eye of the storm. The RM is asking for patience while local range roads are being cleared this week. Well, snow removal is almost complete here in the border city and a big sporting event may be heading our way. Now, those were some of the topics at City Council today. Bart Patiasek has more. Today at Council, Public Works Director Kirk Morrison gave an update to the snow removal project that him and his team were involved in ever since the storm on Thursday night. He says most of the major roads and highways have been cleared with only a few residential streets still left. Right now, the response to the storm last week is complete and we're focused on completing our residential snow removal operations. We're trying to anticipate it to be complete in the next couple of three days. So uh, we're, ex we're excited about that and we're excited for, uh, uh, it looks like some good Friday, good weather with positive temperatures. So. And as well, Council has approved to send out a letter of intent to bid for a chance to host the 2016 Alberta Winter Games. The next step then is to put together a committee that will uh, go through how it would be organized, what would the cost be involved uh, in a bid, and then to come to a final decision, do we want to put in a, a bid to, to actually host those games. I'll have updates on some of those stories tomorrow on UCAP News. The RCMP is warning residents about an email scam that could cost you thousands of dollars. Kim Smith tells us what you need to watch out for and how to protect yourself. The RCMP says it's an online scam that's been happening in Saskatchewan. First, your email is hacked, then the suspect uses your information to write an email to your bank asking it to wire money from your account to another one. A local tech specialist says email hacking is becoming more common. I think people are just getting smarter, you know, with technology. The more tech that we use, the more chance there is of losing the information that you have stored on it. One local financial institution says it's received a couple fraudulent wire requests in the last few months. You can get a hacker that is emailing you from overseas somewhere. So yeah, definitely it is happening here in Lloydminster, just maybe not as much as the larger centres, but it definitely does happen. Vanny says hackers will steal your information from you without you even knowing it. Most of the time it's in the sense of um, having somebody trick you into handing your information to them without you even really thinking about it until it's too late. The RCMP says you should change your password at least every six months. Make sure your antivirus software is up to date and think twice before including financial information in an email. And if you're skeptical about an email you've received from a bank, contact your local branch. If we're ever in doubt of any instructions that we've received through email, we will follow up with the client with a phone call just to ensure, hey, did you just send this and hey, do you really want to do this transaction? Meanwhile, this expert has a rule of thumb. If, you know, if you're unsure about an email, just delete it. You know, don't click on the links. If, if someone didn't say I sent you this, then chances are they didn't send it to you. Kim Smith, Newcap News. You may recall a story we brought to you a short while ago about a young girl heading to Nashville to compete in an international singing competition. Well, the event has wrapped up and 15-year-old Cassidy Zahar is back at home in the Lakeland. And as Clayton Brown explains, she was accompanied on the trip back with some much-earned hardware. Don't toss us away so thoughtlessly. It was an opportunity for local country singer Cassidy Zahar to showcase her talent for the first time outside Alberta. And what better place 
than the heart of country music, Nashville. They had all the lights going on and it was like this big auditorium and then that was for the competition and even just um, singing on Broadway, which is like the most famous street in Nashville, was pretty cool. There were 600 competitors in all, representing four countries. And it couldn't have gone any better for Cassidy, who brought home top honors in every category she entered. I won Female Entertainer of the Year, Female Vocalist of the Year, and uh, Video Production of the Year. And um, it was a great experience because I learned a lot and I hope that I get to go back and do the business end of things. But her success didn't come without adversity. Cassidy arrived in Nashville only to find her guitar broken. Mom's like, okay, well, check your case, make sure everything's still there, that everything's okay. And so I open, open up the case, and um, she goes, <gasps> and I look down, and there's this, like, foot-long crack in the, like, body of the guitar. Just days before the biggest competition of her life, she had to buy a new guitar. Every guitar is different. They don't play the same, so... But we made it work, and um, I love my new guitar. <laughs> In St. Paul, Clayton Brown, New Cap News.